Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. The way you structure your medical practice's banking will depend on the size of your practice, number of employees, and need for credit and cash flow assistance. Steer clear of regular small business banking and opt instead for a bank that has a dedicated medical practice banking program. Choose a business checking account that offers free online banking, automatic bill pay, and remote deposits. Choose a health savings account to curb the cost of employee health care benefits. Banks that offer this type of savings account partner with your insurance provider to help you lower the cost of insurance premiums. Your banking structure should also consist of benefits for both you and your staff. In addition to check card reward points that let you earn cash back on the purchases you make for your practice, choose a banking structure that affords your employees banking benefits as well. Once you have checking, savings, and benefits accounted for, consider extras like merchant services, lines of credit, credit cards, and cash management services. Your bank is your strategic partner in the financial success of your medical practice. Be sure to choose a banking structure that is able to accommodate the changing needs of your growing practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. It's been said that cash is king, and that couldn't be more true than when it comes to running a medical practice. An accurate cash flow analysis will help you determine how much inflow or cash is needed to balance your outflow or the expenses of running your practice. A cash flow analysis looks at three distinct areas of your business. The first step in completing this analysis is to estimate the cost of your operating activities. This number will include the income you receive from patients and insurance companies as well as daily operational expenses like staff salaries, rent, and insurance. The net figure you arrive at after looking at inflow and outflow gives a strong indication of the overall operational cost of running your practice. Next, consider large one-time purchases like medical equipment and property. These are considered investments. The purchase of larger expensive items is calculated into your outflow while the eventual sale of such items count as inflow. Finally, consider financial transactions like loans and loan payments. Loan monies you receive are part of your business's inflow while loan payments made are considered outflow. Your goal in creating a positive cash flow is to balance your inflow and outflow, taking care that you're never spending more than you're making. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. In order to obtain working capital to start your medical practice, it's important to specify exactly what that capital will be used for. By defining your needs in terms of pre-opening, opening, and ongoing operational expenses, you'll be able to find a capital funding lender that's right for you. During pre-opening, you may need capital to purchase or rent office space, buy equipment, complete market assessments, complete the credentialing process, and obtain the appropriate insurance. Once your practice is open, you'll need capital to help cover the initial costs of employee salaries, rent or mortgage payments, marketing and advertising, and the cost of retaining lawyers, accountants, and other experts on your team. As your practice starts to generate revenue, you may still need capital funding to maintain a steady cash flow and cover emergency expenses. In addition to the ongoing expenses of your practice's daily operations, capital funding can be used to replace outdated equipment, cover employee benefits, and even assist with the expenses of a sudden lawsuit or malpractice case. Before approaching potential lenders for capital funding, do your research and create an anticipated budget for your pre-opening, opening, and ongoing operational costs. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. There are many costs associated with starting and growing a medical practice. From one-time equipment purchases to the ongoing expenses of running your business, having enough working capital is crucial to your success. There are three main ways to find a medical practice lender that is right for you. 
The first type of lender can be found through a traditional bank. Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, and TD Bank all have dedicated loan programs specifically geared toward medical professionals. The second way to find a medical practice lender is by going through an online company that offers unsecured funding to medical professionals. If you have less than perfect credit or don't like the idea of working with a traditional bank, a company like U.S. Medical Funding or Omega Funding could be perfect for you. Finally, you can use the Small Business Administration as your medical practice lender. The SBA has several loan programs available to small businesses that need to rent equipment. Check out the 7A Loan Program and the 504 Loan Program for more information. It takes a lot of working capital to get your medical practice up and running, but you don't have to pay for your business expenses out of pocket. Whether you choose a traditional bank, online lender, or the SBA, it's easy to find a medical practice lender that will help your practice thrive. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help! Your medical practice needs state-of-the-art equipment and a steady influx of working capital in order to stay competitive. With a wide variety of medical lending options to help you purchase equipment and maintain daily operations, it can be difficult to know how to choose the right medical practice lender. When considering how to finance the needs of your practice, be sure to choose a lender that specializes in medical lending, offers competitive interest rates, and is open to working with medical startups. There are almost as many small business lenders in the United States as there are small businesses. Choose a lender with a dedicated medical lending program. Only lenders with direct medical experience understand the needs and challenges of operating a medical practice and will work with you to ensure those needs are met. Next, choose a medical practice lender that offers a competitive interest rate. While not all banks will lend to newer medical practices, the majority of lenders want your business and will compete to get it. The SBA offers loans with interest rates as low as 3%, so don't be afraid to shop around. Finally, choose a medical practice lender that specializes in working with startups, new businesses, and smaller practices. If you're lacking in positive cash flow or have annual sales that are below $10 million, some lenders may not want to work with you. Choose a lender that understands the challenges of a medical startup. They will be more open to approving you for a loan and giving you the capital you need to get started. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Finding a great medical bookkeeper for your new practice is a breeze when you ask for referrals, search on the right websites, and vet your applicant with reviews and testimonials. Start by speaking with your colleagues and friends in the healthcare industry. Find out who they use for their medical bookkeeping and how happy they are with the service. Be sure to seek referrals for physicians who run practices similar to yours in size and those with similar budgets to yours. If you'd like to outsource your medical bookkeeping to an individual or company, begin by searching profiles on odesk.com or simplyhired.com. You can also post a job opening and find a medical bookkeeper by reviewing the submissions you receive and scheduling interviews from there. Finally, the best way to find a great medical bookkeeper is to vet applicants during the hiring process. Whether hiring through word of mouth or through a website, it's crucial the applicant provide you with past and current client testimonials and reviews. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Choosing the right medical bookkeeper for your practice is the first step toward financial freedom and sustainability. But there are many different types of medical bookkeepers, so how are you supposed to find one who's right for your office? Before you narrow down your choices, there are three key questions you need to answer. Number one, will your medical bookkeeper be in-house or outsourced? With your daily financial operations on the line, you may feel more comfortable having a bookkeeper in-house so you're constantly updated on the status of your books. 
However, outsourcing is also a great option for cost-conscious practices that can't afford to hire a full-time employee. Number two, will you hire an individual or a team of bookkeepers? Depending on the size of your practice, working with one person lets you build a relationship based on trust. On the other hand, hiring a team of bookkeepers assures the consistency of your financial process. If one team member is sick or unable to perform their duties, another team member can tag team in and keep your books in order. Number three, do you want a medical billing specialist or a trained accountant? Some medical bookkeepers receive a certificate or degree in medical billing while others have an accounting background or are CPAs. If you'd like your medical bookkeeper to perform a wide variety of accounting tasks beyond billing, choosing a traditional accountant may be your best bet. Just make sure they have ample experience in the healthcare industry. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Working with a medical accounting firm will assure the financial health of your medical practice. But when you're first starting out, how are you supposed to find the right accountant for you? With thousands of medical accounting firms to choose from, a quick search online is sure to overwhelm you with endless choices. Here is how to find a great medical accounting firm without the headache. Start by opening your search to accounting firms based in other cities or even other countries. While it may sound counterintuitive, by searching outside of your local market, you're likely to find firms with more expertise and more competitive prices. Remember that an accounting firm can assist your practice from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Independent firms with low overhead will be able to pass cost savings on to you. Read online reviews and talk to current customers of the accounting firm. It may be difficult to get an unbiased opinion from a competing physician in your local market, so approach customers in different cities to ask how they like the accounting firm. Be sure to ask about reliability, accuracy, and experience serving medical practices like yours. Don't be afraid to negotiate rates. If you're starting a private practice, it may be beneficial to work with a small medical accounting firm known for its personalized attention and payment flexibility. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Choosing the right medical accounting firm will help your medical practice thrive, but it will also free you up to focus on providing your patients with the best care possible. A good medical accounting firm will be able to do all of the following. Provide you and your practice with monthly and annual financial statements and cash flow reports. Prepare tax records and returns. Oversee a year-end closing of your accounting books. Analyze your contracts in terms of applicable business laws. Help with financial planning for long-term projects. Assist with audits and claims. Advise you on all aspects of purchase accounts, financing, business loans, and investments, and take care of billing, ledger entries, accounts payable, and accounts receivable. The size of your practice and your individual needs will determine how much work needs to be outsourced to a medical accounting firm. When choosing a firm for your practice, be sure to look for accountants with expertise specific to the medical industry. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Finding a medical collection company is an integral part of maintaining a steady cash flow in your medical practice. Without an experienced company serving as an extension of your billing department, you will waste hours of time hounding patients or insurance companies about unpaid bills. Here's how to find a medical collection company that's right for you. Look for a company that specializes in serving practices of your size. If your practice is small and intimate and you live in a small town where you frequently see your patients, sending a large impersonal agency after them for payment may be overkill. Reach out to colleagues and even competitors who run practices similar to yours. Ask for recommendations for a medical collection company whose collection process is in line with your practice's vision. 
Understand your relationships with patients and insurance providers. Some populations may require a softer touch when it comes to past due payments, while others may respond well to a more aggressive company. When trying to find a medical collection company, look for one that shares your values and can serve as an extension of your practice when securing past due payments. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. There are five important things to consider when choosing a medical collection company for your practice. Number one, choose a company that is focused on long-term relationships. Debt collections aren't always resolved overnight, so the longer you work with a company, the easier it will be for them to build relationships with patients who are frequently past due on payments. Number two, choose a company that offers flexible, customizable packages to accommodate your unique needs. Each practice is different and should be treated accordingly. Be sure to choose a company that understands the needs of your office and can handle your particular billing challenges. Number three, choose a company that will function as an extension of your practice. Patients are much more likely to respond when they feel they're communicating directly with your practice, not some big anonymous company. Number four, choose a company that understands the complicated processes surrounding insurance, co-pays, and self-pay receivables. A company with knowledge and expertise in these areas will be far more effective at obtaining past due payments. And number five, choose a tech-savvy company that can integrate their payment collection software with your internal billing software. This will create a seamless experience for both you and your patients. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. When traditional loans or lines of credit are not enough to meet the financial needs of your medical practice, it may be time to think about capital funding. Capital funding lenders offer medical professionals customized funding options that are accessible in a short amount of time. Capital funding can offer more flexible payment terms and lower interest rates than traditional loans. It can be used to finance the acquisition of assets, prevent missed payments, cover emergencies, and finance other unforeseen expenses. Capital funding lenders tend to have different payment terms than traditional lenders. Many allow for interest-only payments in a flexible payment schedule with no fixed maturation date. These lenders often allow capital to be used for any type of purchase and don't require upfront collateral in order to approve funding. Capital funding lenders offer growing medical practices a fast, easy, inexpensive way to secure working capital. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the DoctorsBusinessNetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.